Hi guys, I'm Tierney J and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make this lovely tartan print swing dress. Okay, this dress is so perfect for the holiday season. I'm in love with it. And because Christmas is in a couple days, I have the perfect giveaway for you guys. If you notice my booties in the photo there, I will be giving away another pair. So stay tuned to the end. All right, so here you see my bodice piece. And as you can tell, it's scooted over from the um, fold. And I'm doing that to allow seam allowance plus wiggle room. Um, at the end of the armhole is where the angle of the yardstick goes. And you just want to angle it out as wide as you want and as long as you want. You also want to form a curve um, with your measuring tape and just chalk this out. Um, and that will give you the front or the back piece. Um, here I'm repeating the same steps using the one that I've just cut out. And I'm laying it on the remainder of the fabric and I'm cutting out the exact same piece. Alright, so here are both pieces pinned together. The fashion fabric is facing each other. So pin along at the shoulders and along the sides. Notice that both pieces are the same size. Alright, and let's sew them together. Alright, so they're sewn together and I've basically just flipped them out, um, lining up the armholes. And notice that my measuring tape is up higher and lower at one end. And I'm going to make a cut and um, make it a high-low effect. Also cut the neck hole in the front a little bit deeper. Alright, so this is what we're looking like. It's a little bit shorter in the front. And the back, of course, is longer. And now it's time to put in our lining. Alright, so here's my fashion fabric. And I only have a yard, but you're going to need two yards if you want to get the exact shape. So you want to repeat the same exact steps you used to cut out your fashion fabric. Sew them together at the shoulders and the sides and make the exact same cut. Alright, let's attach our fashion fabric and lining at the neck hole. So obviously you'll see the lining is flipped inside out and the fashion fabric is right sides out. And what you want to do is pin along the neck hole and sew it down leaving about 5 eighths of an inch. Alright, so you have sewn together your fashion fabric and your lining at the neck hole. Um, and as you come up, you will notice that it is still like loose, it's sliding up. Um, but it is attached and it does appear to be hemmed. Um, but what you're needing to do is press it, so steam it, and then um, you're going to flip them inside out. And I'm going to show you how to hem it down so it doesn't come up. Alright, and this is how you do it. You want to pull your fashion fabric and lining apart at the neck. And close up, I'll show you where I basically pinned back all of that seam allowance. And you want to sew as close as possible to the edge. So it's pinned close to the edge. And you want to just sew very close to the edge um, where the red ends. And sew it onto the lining, not the fashion fabric. Okay, and there's one more step after you sew this red piece down to the black lining. Um, once you do that, you're going to flip it insides out. And you'll see here, um, I also went ahead and top stitch around the fashion fabric. Alright, so now I'm getting ready to make the armhole. And what I've done is just fold it over and have the scrap fabric. And I've placed um, the dress alongside of that fabric and I'm just cutting around um, the same shape as the armhole and I've cut so many armholes that I really don't need a pattern piece um, so just extend that line about an inch down so you'll have some seam allowance um, and I continue to cut also leave the arm um, since this is a, poly a polyester leave it about two inches um, bigger than what you normally would do Okay, so let's sew our sleeves together. And let's attach our sleeves. So the dress is wrong sides out and the sleeve is right sides out. And I pin it um, using the bottom seam 
Um, so just match up the bottom and the top and sew all the way around. Don't forget to hem your dress. All right, and here's the finished product. I'm so in love with this dress. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's perfect for the holiday time, perfect for this season. It's light, it's flowy, um, and it was just really comfortable and easy to get on. Um, so, I told you guys about a giveaway, and of course it's on these cute booties. They're from Just Fab. So in order to win these, you need to go like my Instagram page, follow it, it's Tierney J, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also on the Instagram page, put down your size of shoe under this picture. Okay, so the winner will be announced on Christmas Day. Um, I'm so excited, guys. Let me know what you think, and I can't wait to see who's going to win the contest. Alright, I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial. Bye!